Greetings to uh, all our great parishioners. Uh, Father Steve, just giving you a couple thoughts on this week's readings from St. Matthew. Of course, we're coming up into Advent uh, very soon, the beginning of the liturgical year. So we come into this coming Sunday, and then we follow with Christ the King, the feast, and then we move into Advent. So looking forward to a great uh, spiritual awakening time for us this year. Speaking of spiritual awakenings, that's kind of what's going on in this gospel today. It's, it sounds kind of typical, like, okay, we all have had hard-nosed bosses that demand and expect a lot of return. But usually how these stories go is it's the underdog that pulls through and wins the end of the day. That's kind of the American success story. So in this particular gospel, it's kind of flipped. The people that were given more talents ended up being more successful, and the one who was given one talent or an amount of money uh, didn't invest it, didn't do anything with it, he just buried it and gave it back to the boss. And so zero return and zero investment. So there's a, a flip here that might be more than just about material or physical things that we're supposed to be accumulating or something that God gives us. It's really more about the spiritual life. And that the whole message behind Matthew here, I think, is very simply, if you are given gifts of insight, faith, wisdom, understanding, courage, uh, a desire for mercy or compassion for the poor, that when you give those gifts away, you activate those gifts, more is revealed and we become more profoundly uh, graced by Almighty God. If we stay stingy or we're fearful because God might see us make a mistake, which we do as we learn and lean into the spiritual life, we're always gonna make mistakes but that we're afraid of what people might think or we don't want to look uh, too religious or too Jesus-like, that we just kind of hold on to what little spiritual insights we have and it kind of dies out. So I think the promo or the push of the gospel, at least for me, I've got to look at what are the areas where I'm hesitant or afraid to risk a little bit more to be Christ-like. What holds me back so that I look just kind of like everybody else? Um, I have to think sometimes, are some of my American values, which I was raised uh, with all the kind of hard work and expectations of our American society, are those really the ones that Christ is looking for? Uh, so the values that I hold as an American, are they necessarily the values of the gospel? Sometimes I gotta think that through and challenge myself to risk a little bit more, to be more compassionate, to be more merciful, to be more attentive to those in need. Uh, in the end, who cares really what people think? Ultimately, in the end, it's only how God looks at us and what he thinks of us. And I suspect it is a look and a glance of love and tenderness. Have a great week.